Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, we're going to be importing in a picture of a drawing, maybe something you've drawn by hand and taken a picture of or scanned in, or something you found online that you want to use as inspiration. So uh, I found something on Wikipedia, just as an example, and I'm gonna open it up right here. So this is just a house plan that's on Wikipedia. It's from the Library of Congress, I believe, and it's the Putnam House. And so we can actually just download this right now uh, we'll download it. It's a huge file, but sure, we'll download the whole thing. We'll hit save. Another thing we could do is just hit the print screen key on our keyboard, and that would print a picture of whatever's on our screen. And then we can go into like uh, the paint program if you're in Windows, and we can go right click, paste, and it just pastes a copy of it here. And then we could crop it, which is what, in fact, that's the method I'll show you here, because that might be what you're going to be end up doing. So we select the whole thing, and then we just go crop. And we save, and I'll save a copy of this on my desktop, and we'll go save. And now we have this picture we can use uh, on the desktop. So it's right here. It says untitled, and it's just a, a picture of a floor plan. We've got two. It looks like we have a, uh, uh, a first floor on the left and a second floor on the right. So let's bring this in to uh, Sweet Home 3D and see if we can trace it up a little bit or uh, see if we can create a 3D model of that 2D plan. So we're going to, uh, first we want to um, come over here and under, is it under plan? We're going to go import background image under plan. So then it says uh, choose an image. We can drag and drop it in or we can just click choose image. So we'll just click here, choose image, and we go to our desktop and go to this untitled, which is the plan that we just downloaded or we just made, uh, we just copied. So we're going to go here, we go continue, and then it says... Oh yeah, so this for the scale on this, I'm going to actually, I didn't check to see if this had a scale, so let me run back real quick and check. Uh, the scale, okay, this does have a scale. See in the bottom right hand corner, we see there is a scale here. And the scale is like so. Uh, it's in feet, so this is 10 feet. So roughly with this document, so, okay, good. So we can actually just use this as our scale. This is, a, we know that this whole line here is 16 feet. So we'll come back here, and this is what it's asking us. It's like, all right, the length of this blue line, how long is it? And we'll be like, well, 16 feet. And then we, we can uh, move this line around. So we move it down here to the bottom. And we, we can zoom in on that to see. So we put this line exactly the whole length of this scale here. Perfect. And we say this line is 16 feet. So that's just going to scale this document properly for us. We go continue, and then it's like uh, define the origin of the image. So sure, yeah, the first we'll have this be the zero zero point. That's great. Finish. All right. So now we have this um, as our background in here, and so we can't click and move it around. We obviously can't drag and drop and change like a door or anything. And oh my goodness, I'm just barely looking at these plans for the first time now. I didn't even realize that so we've got like these uh, staircases here. This is going to be this is going to be interesting to draw up in um, Sweet Home 3D, and we're just going to focus on first of all anyway, not even the second floor. So let's just let's just focus on this first floor just as an example, and we'll see. So we can see this wall here is like starts at 18 feet. Well, we can see how long it is. But let's go ahead and first, uh, I guess first for this one, let's draw up our walls. So I grab the wall tool, and I'm just going to follow along these walls. I'm not going to worry about doors and windows just yet uh, because I'm just not going to. Do we have a rounded? No, we don't have any rounded walls, which is good. So we're going to come in and just kind of roughly draw this right here. So I'm left clicking every point, tracing the outline uh, of this building here. I'm not familiar with it. I'm sure this is like a historic home or something. I'm not, not super familiar with it. Isn't this where I started, or did I start here? I started right here, so double click. Now I have a, a complete outline. We can come and see what it looks like here. You can always right click and go, um, uh, can't we just, there's a way to view this full screen. I guess we'll go um, display in separate window. So now we can, actually just, we can actually see this as a whole large separate window, so we can see what this kind of looks like. Cool, so that's the outline of this um, Putnam residence. And then we can just go back in here, so let's, uh, We'll just bring it down out of the way for now. And uh, I'll just keep it right down here so it's handy. 
Uh, what else can we do? So let's draw some interior walls. So I'll come, uh, my wall tool is still selected. So now I just need to draw. There's looks like there's a wall right here that kind of comes in and does this. I'll hit the escape key when that's finished. We'll do another wall that looks like, am I seeing this correctly? That there's a wall here. Yeah. Then there's a, a wall right here. And a couple walls here. So we'll bring these in. And this looks like it's a like a type of a hallway almost. This is a good way to kind of learn to oh wow there's so there's a couple things here. This is a is this stairs? There's a closet right here. Um, quite the plans, quite the plans we have here. This is a stairway. So we can put some stairs in here. What else? There's a, a wall going here. And this is, I think, a wall. I'm not exactly sure. That might be a, a doorway in there. Yeah, these are these are walls. Anyway, you get the point. And then we'll, you know, we'll bring it up and we can kind of see. All right, so this is with our walls drawn in. So this is kind of a quick little 3D version of this uh, Putnam residence that we drew, which is pretty cool that we can just take this plan and then very quickly get this view of it. Um, we can also do, so let's bring this down and let's grab our floor. So if we want to put some floors in here, we can just click uh, the insides of here real quick. And let's see, where is our, where is a room? Is this a, so we didn't, we forgot to do this. There's like a pantry or something here. Let's put that in real quick. Close this pantry in. And actually, you know what I've been doing? I've been doing this wrong. I actually shouldn't have done this. I'm going to click this wall and delete and click this wall because it looks like this is probably a doorway instead. So what I'm going to actually do is just make this a complete finished off wall. And then we'll just drag and drop a doorway into there because we can choose a door frame. We'll just put a door frame right there. And that'll kind of look better. So when we're looking at our 3D model and we see there's like a little room here with a door frame in it. See that? Cool. Okay, move this out of the way. So I don't know how far I'm going to get on this one. I don't want to get it too tedious and get you guys bored too quickly, but we can create this floor just by following along the outside of here. And what this is going to do is show us the exact, uh, I shouldn't say exact, but it's going to show us roughly the square footage. So 315 square feet of this type of flooring for this room right here, which is cool to know. So because we scaled this, this is actually pretty accurate because we scaled this properly. So we know that this wall really is, if we come over here and dimension this wall, this wall here really is like 27 feet roughly. And this floor really is 315 square feet for this kitchen area here. Um, and then we can go in, since we made a floor there, we can then go in and change that, the way that, that floor appears. If we double click or get our selection tool first and then double click, we can change the texture of that floor like we've done in the past videos and make it like a, a tile looking floor. So then this is like a tile in the kitchen. We could even probably find pictures of this Putnam residence and actually grab a picture of the floor and create our own uh, texture from that picture. In fact, in a future tutorial, I'll show you how to do that, how to create your own textures. And we could actually recreate a very realistic 3D model, and uh, not real, not so much realistic, but a, a much more detailed three uh, model than just this 2d version we're seeing here uh, so basically i don't know if i'm going to keep doing all this but you, you see we would do the same thing so we would draw all these different floors just like this and we would just create all these different rooms and then we can go in and do whatever whatever our goals are this is like a little breakfast nook is that what it is or something so whatever our goals are for doing this we could either draw it up as like a nice um a nice 3D model to kind of do a virtual visit, a virtual tour through, or we could draw it up as like architectural, an, ac an actual architectural drawing that we would want to maybe reproduce this and rebuild this. So pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool stuff. And then we just drag in doors wherever there's a door on the plan. We just drag in a door here and this one needs to be mirrored so that it matches the swing of that door. Wait, was that right? No, it was right the first time. So don't make it mirrored. And yeah, just drag doors in wherever. And then we start to get a list over here built up of different doors and different things used in these plans. 
But that is basically uh, how we do it. And then anywhere there's a window on the plan. Does this show windows? I think it did. Everything's kind of covered up now, so it's getting harder to see. But I think there was like some windows here, so we would just drag in. I don't know what type of window it even would have, but let's do like a window that can swing open like this. So we'd have different windows wherever there's windows on the plan, and then we could come in and see uh, a window. And then to do a virtual visit, we just right-click and we go uh, virtual visit. And now we're here inside. We can use our arrow keys. Oh, we're not inside yet. We're outside. But we can walk through walls in the virtual visit. So if we want to walk through this wall, we can just push the hold down the forward arrow key. And now we're inside this place. We can look around and see what this room would have looked like. Um, from these plans. So I hope you see how cool this can kind of be. Because you can actually take a plan and then draw it up. So maybe you find some a floor plan online on like Pinterest or something that you kind of like and you're you're thinking about building a house or doing something like that like this. You could actually draw it up very quickly, change the colors of the walls, the carpets, the texture, and get a pretty good uh, idea for what it looks like and see if you actually like that layout. And if you do, you can, you know, convert this into an actual uh, drawing. We, we can drop these notes. See this says door schedule here. We can actually type in all this. We can click door schedule. Actually, we don't need to do this necessarily because we already have this information. But we could type in just like they've done. We can say door schedule and replace all this information here. But since that we, ha we have the door schedule, it's nice. We can actually draw in all these doors. We can drag and drop all these doors in wherever they are on the plans. And then we can find and match it up. So there's a note. Door number three is two by six uh, and six feet, two inches, seven eighths, or whatever. I'm not sure. And then we can double click and uh, adjust this door accordingly. And then all this information down here work done with uh, Mass Era Funds, Bernard, something. So we can put any. We probably wouldn't want that. But this where it says first floor plan, we could note that. Uh, yeah. I think you get the idea. So that is how we can take an existing plan. And you could have this could have been a plan that I just drew up on a napkin, took a picture with my phone, and then just brought that picture in. So again, to do that, we just go plan and then uh, oh well, and then we, now we can modify the background, but it was I think it said add background before, but it's plan add background. Hope you've enjoyed this video, found it informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe, leave your comments, questions below, and I will catch you in the next video.